Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helion today, along with... First mate drink here at your service. We just came back with food. And, well, welcome back to Shantae, Risky's Revenge. And I think in this stream we should be able to finish this game off. So, let's get started. Put up the sidebars to not have to look at all of that <laughs> dark area around it. 50 and... streams later. <laughs> let's see. Uh, we have all three of the... Yeah, we should have all three of the... No. I'm getting confused again with the stupid reversed buttons. We have all three seals, but we were supposed to go somewhere. I actually forget where, though. <laughs> Reverse buttons? You mean you pull the buttons instead of pushing them? No. <laughs> Let's see, we have the mermaid <laughs> form now, we have the monkey dash, and we have three of the seals. Now that we have the mermaid form, there is a lot more that we can actually explore. Uh, oh, the, the dialogue has been changed again. The highest form of fire magic is the flamethrower. Take that, you monsters. <laughs> Let's first have a chat with everyone again. My dad told me that when I grow up, I, I will like girls. Gross. That's not true, is it? Well, he can like boys as well if he grows up. The Mega Puff Magic can obliterate almost anything. You should try it. And you see, it's, you see how small the kid is? He might still be in the rule where there is cutie uh, yeah. age. <laughs> the Mega Pike Ball has three balls with blades on them. It's super devastating. Okay. And yeah. The, the puff spells are the strongest ones, but they take time to go off, so they, they might not be the easiest to aim. Sometimes I bathe in my own sweat. Don't tell anyone. Maybe you should not have told anyone that at all. Also, how? Oh, hello. And Polo and Mimic are gone. I guess he would just gather it up or something. Which would make it even more rancid. Ooh. Big you. Big you. Yeah. I started dancing from a young age and never stopped. Now it's all I know. Okay. Uh, we can check in with Sky, maybe see if see yeah, see if she has any uh, hints. Oh my gosh, something smells like wet animal. <laughs> okay. The mermaids out by the cliffs are so mean. Why do they behave so? When I moved to this town, I owned a monkey, but a couple weeks after arriving, he was gone. I wonder what ever happened to the little Chubonky Kong. <laughs> uh, a mix-up of Chewbacca and Donkey Kong. I, I, that one was at least somewhat creative. I ate a monkey once, I'm not proud of it. Well, we know what happened now. Oh no. Sometimes I wish I grew up to be a dancer instead of a jug holder. You can a dancing move. Seagull. I guess we found uh, one of your ancestors. I love skinny dipping in the far, uh, far end of Pollock Bay. There's an undersea cave where you can hide if any boys show up. And that's a hint as to where we can go now. I'm surprised that they mentioned skinny dipping. <laughs> Has anyone seen Mimic the Relic Hunter? I have a question about my digital watch. Uh, okay, a bit out of place. <laughs> the war pedestals on the far east and far west ends of the ocean are a great way to travel. Okay, and then we have only the guards and her left. No, I've never been to the battle tower, but I hear there are rewards for those who reach the top again and again. And maybe they are, but well, they probably are, but I don't have much interest in getting those. So let's finish up with the guards. Hmm? I haven't seen much action here in town for a while. Is, Chris, we, yeah, is Risky Boots really going to destroy our town? 
When I need cash, I usually go Naga hunting. Okay. And finally... You sure are lucky you have your hair to use as a weapon. I'm forced to resort to meaty punches and stubby leg kicks. <laughs> Wait, you don't have weapons? Apparently. Well, that might I guess explain. A... <laughs> Go ahead. <You> <laughs> I would say that, that just explains how shaped the former mayor was. It also show, it also reveals why Risky Boots can just take on the town at any time. She she's literally the only one with a gun. Well, also so was probably as well. Yeah. All right, let's start looking around then for whatever might be hidden around here. Now we were told that there is an ability for the elephant hidden in the desert somewhere. And hello. Shante, there you are. We were looking all over for you. What's going on? Where's Uncle Mimic? You're not going to like this. We found a ransom note in his workshop. Oh no. Take a look. Maybe you should sit down. No, please read it. Also, she has no sitting animation. Risky Boots says she took your uncle and will trade his life for the three magic seals you've got. She's hiding out in the lamp's original resting place, somewhere east of here. Do you know what she's talking about? Poor uncle. This is all my fault. East? That means he's over by the mayor's private retreat? Uh... Bolo, that's west. <laughs> Don't be stupid. This would put him near the old boathouse. What kind of moron doesn't know east from west? Well, <laughs> please don't argue. I need help coming up with a plan. I can help. Uh, hello. Who's this guy? You got it all wrong. Whiskey Boots doesn't, uh, didn't take your old, my friend. It was that zombie gal. Roddy Tops? She'd never. Besides, what I should... Uh, why should I believe you? Didn't you explode in the Hooch stage clear sequence? <laughs> Fourth wall, gone. Hey, don't blame me for putting up a fight. The pirate lady was threatening me and my babies if I didn't hand over my magic shield. She really shook things up, and now my kids have run off. But do you believe me or not that zombie and pirate are in cahoots? That's a fact. <laughs> Hello in the chat there, Noon. This sounds fishy. Why would you come here? Why to strike a deal, naturally. Miss Boots will be expecting to fight you on her terms. But there's a back door to, uh, to her hideout that might just give you an advantage. If you agree to save my three golden babies, I'll show you how to open the path to Risky's hideout. I don't actually know... I don't actually remember what this is. I think it might just be a shortcut through most of the lost area. Hmm. Either way, she knows I'm coming. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? If Risky's hideout is underwater, my birds can't do squat for you. My death will thrust this guy. He might be a stinker, but I think he's telling the truth. Okay, you've got yourself a deal. Where do I start? My babies are probably hiding in the undersea caverns close by. One of them has an artifact that will help you enter the back door near to Risky's lair. Let's get this done quickly. Uncle Mimic needs me. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm unsure now if this is required or not. But if they are around here, we might as well... We might as well go looking around for them. And hello, Noom. They come from early stream. I don't believe there are multiple endings to this game, but I know that there are to some of them, I believe, or... No, there are, there are sort of 
different endings, but mostly in what sort of end card you get. It's like with the, the original map for it. And we can't get past that. Oops. Okay, for a moment I thought this was a cave entrance, but no, it's just an odd looking background bit. So that means that there is nothing for us to find here. Or I say that and we find a new entrance. With only an enemy in it. Okay. There we go. That was a bit obvious. <laughs> Cyclopfish? Okay. Oh, hello. Hearth holder. Not exactly nice. what we're looking for, but still very useful. Yeah. It's probably will come in use. Yeah. We are or going towards the final area after all. Yeah. Will come in. It will useful. It's probably the correct term here. Yeah. Okay. No. We know that the play we need to go to the east. Yep, wrong one. But let's continue on west since there's more water to find here to explore here. We're finishing games left and right, yeah. Yeah, I can agree. Yep. <laughs> and immediately <laughs> fail. But it wasn't too long ago we finished Monkey Island and Sensara. True. And we'll probably be finishing this game as well now. There we go. <laughs> Third time's the Monkey Charm. Uh, actually, I think we can... Yep, not that. I think we can kind of cheese this gap now that we have the Monkey Dash. Just need to there and there we go. Uh, let's see. Can oh. we do anything in here? Um, can I just realize something here? Hmm? Don't turn into a monkey near that uh, magic yam lady. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea. And uh, yeah, we can do this thing now that we have the monkey dash. We just have to well. Not accidentally go back again. Okay. Gotta get a good grip. Okay. Uh, there. Ah, okay, I should have I should have kept pressing to the right. Okay. No, come on. I, I should probably. Yeah, I sh I'll, I'll use the D-pad for this for a bit, just to have a bit more accurate control. I say and immediately fall to <laughs> into a pit again. Okay, we're going to need to use a potion here. Come on, stop monkeying around, Shantae. Yep, I... I'm, I'm too low on it. That's why it's, she's not fully grabbing on, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm... I won't be going for all of the collectibles. If, you know, As in, I won't go back to all the areas to get all the magic gems and whatever. Uh, but this is just for exploration, seeing what is here. I, again, I don't know if there is a different ending for... Mm. And I think with the Squid Baron getting his kids is only a shortcut, come on. This is really annoying because it's literally a single bloody block. Uh, wait, can you clean the blue walls? Normally, but not with these stubs, dear. Actually, can we... Can we cheese it and just grab that? 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's give it one more health bar. <clears throat> health bar worth of tries. After that, we're just leaving. Is he moving too quick? Yes. Yeah, uh, 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 is this a oversight in the side or something? Missing something here. It's just that that bloody block is way too freaking tiny for this. Wait, I think you're supposed to use the other block. Yeah, what other block? The, the blue one? Uh, that that would launch us into the nothing. I mean, the one over the fire, but the, the only... yeah, we we can't reach that one. We can, we can hit it, but we can't climb it. Hmm. Okay, we're out. I think if you were to grab that box you keep hitting, then jump backwards to it. Yeah, that... Yeah. Oh, that... Actually, that's going to... That's going to reset us back to here. Guess we didn't pass the save point. Luckily, it's not too far. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just grab that heart holder. Okay, let's get through this quickly. Isn't there a skip function on this? I'm, so I'm just button mashing through. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, let's grab the heart holder and head straight for the bath... You know, not the bathhouse. <laughs> The boathouse and uh, see how we can get through if we can get through. I actually let me just let me just look good. Yeah, do a quick look. Uh, let's see. Squid Baron. Gold. I, I checked up on the TV tropes of this game, and it didn't say anything about multiple endings. So, again, I think it is just... Uh, yeah, a shortcut, probably. Let's see. Gold War Squid Babies. Near the end of Shantae, Risky's Revenge, Shantae is required to find these three babies who are hiding underground. Unlike the similar collection quest in the original game, this one is mandatory. Okay... Yes, you forgot that, that one. Yeah. Oh, well, either forgotten or depressed it. Uh, I hope well, I pronounced that correctly. At, at the very least, it has a. Uh, it shows here on the wiki page where they actually are, but it also says that we need the elephant stomp. Or is that an ability or is that an unlock? Come on. It's stuck loading. Hey Liam, okay. look at how many games you have. Yeah, <laughs> six, six, six. <laughs> we do. Okay. First off, save room. Uh, let's see. Transformation relics, gun special attacks, uh, elephant stomp. Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, we do need to go find that. Okay, let's see. Oh, it. Oh. Nu Nuin has turned into a rock gura. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, first off, the heart holder. Then we're going to get the elephant stomp. Yep. Yeah. It is a bit odd that there is no sound to her dance, but oh well. I could have added a bit of a, a little jingle to it, perhaps. I'm at 
photo that, but that's kind of true. Though I guess it's the, you usually have so much background music to begin with. Yeah. It, it would probably interfere with the music. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Elephant stomp, barren desert, in a cave accessible by smashing a rock. Okay. There were, there were plenty of rocks still around in the desert. So, yeah, we'll just have to look around a bit for that one. For now, let's just head back to Scuttletown and get to a warp squid so we can get through the desert. Hmm. Actually, if we go this way, we head towards the desert all the same. Uh, so, yeah, let, let's just head... Let's just head the normal way for the desert, that way we can make sure that we don't miss any... <clears throat> that we don't miss... Come on. That we don't miss any rocks. So were these Nagas yeah. here before? Yeah, but... I don't think that's the question you should ask. I think the question is you should ask... Was it so tightly packed with moats before? I don't think so. So I, I guess mob uh, enemy placement gets upgrade. Yeah, gets uh, upped as well as you go along the game. Yeah. But yeah. So, the, these were yeah. definitely not here before. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I think the nuggets were there before, but not that many. <laughs> uh, they didn't mean to go in here, but. Well, the refill is always nice. And the music in this place isn't bad either. Yep. Oh, fall off. I thought you were to fall down there. Uh, we have been having issues with sticking to the surfaces with the monkey form. Okay, save, so we don't have to go get the hard holder again. Yeah, and also. I think you use it too, when someone throws a dynamite at you in game, you get a bit of a knockback. That is typically the case. Hmm. Okay. Now I think I see what we need to do here. Or not. Do we need to hit this with a spell to turn it? Yes, we do. Oop. It's a bit expensive for this, but what do we get for it? Oh, a magic jam. Nice. Okay, we probably should have visited the shop, but oh well. We can go there again once we return it once again. Wait, did, did you keep it or...? Should have. So we have three. I, th I think we had two before, but oh well. We can... No, not... Hmm. Okay, it, does, it doesn't really do... The map doesn't really do the thing where, some, where a place changes color if you have found everything there. Uh, no going that way. There's still something there. Let's take a bit of a risk here. Go in here for a little save point, or checkpoint at least. And then we try the monkey bullet here to see if we end up somewhere. Hello. Hello. Okay, is this new or was that just a shortcut? I think that was just a shortcut. Or maybe not, since there is so many of these things now. Let's see. Uh, where even are we in this now? Uh, I'm not seeing a 
Now I'm not seeing a signifier of where we are. Hmm. Yeah, I'm confused here as well. Okay. Well, we have this that we can break open, so let's give that a shot. Let's see where we end up. I, th I have the feeling we have been you here before, or maybe not. Yeah, I don't hmm. remember the hose. I'm growing more and more skeptical that... Oh. Seeing that... I think we found where the elephant stomp is hidden. Okay, he's... <laughs> These things are out of sync. Oops. Yeah. But who the reason why I dislike gaming in the early days, but mo many of these games were platformers like this. Yeah, especially when platforms go out of sync with their patterns. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bloody heck. There. And this should be the last one. go, the elephant stomp. Ball in the air as an elephant, press down to stomp. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so we accidentally stumbled our way into the right direction. And now, I'm very uh, worried now. Let's try and find... Uh, oh, where are we here? Okay, we're over on the bright side. Okay. Oh, it's the battle tower again. But that should mean that there is a warp sprit nearby. And at the very least, a save guy. Okay. Uh, of course, tra in trying to avoid the enemies, I fall into the pit instead. Yeah, it usually happens. You start to run on board in me. You fall into the pit. You turn to the pit. You get hit by an enemy and die. No, no. See? Hold it. You just accidentally proved my point! Yep. But you didn't die, but you took so much hurt. Okay, there actually isn't a warp sprit nearby, it's on the other end of the bloody desert. So let's try and find a way there then. Wait. Well, <laughs> we are already. The archers again. But then, no one has told us what, who these archers are. Hmm. True, and I don't think they... I'm not sure if there is ever anything you've said about them. Just jump right into that. Let me just burn you. Yep. <laughs> okay, they would just shoot a monkey in the back. And 
then it should be around here in the next train. Yep, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at the shots! <laughs> yeah, Drakia says he'll do. <laughs> do what exactly? <laughs> oh, monkey see, monkey do. Yeah, and I. Yeah, basically told you about the thing about the pitfalls and mobs, and you accidentally just blew what I was saying. Yeah. If you fall into the pit, oh, you'll get hurt by the mobs. Not this time. Oh, not it. Is it me or is this not the best music in this game? Yeah. It is basically the main theme. Hello, that's a bunch of you. Okay. Now back to Scuttletown. To the shop. So that we don't forget this time. And... Yeah, then we can go looking for the, the Golden Squid Babies. Oh dear. Now let's silky cream or super silky cream for more damage, I believe. And yeah, let's just stock up on potions of both kinds. Then yeah, we don't have any more magic jam for spells. So oh well. Okay. Uh, where is the first hidden then? Let me double check here, just so we don't end up wasting more uh, wasting time. Okay, first one is in the mermaid cliffs, so to the east of us. Let's see, located on the where the cave to the bottom left. So that would be underneath us at the moment. There we go. There should be an attack, we, an attack ability we can find for this form somewhere. But unless we find it along the way, I'm not going to bother with it. Passage, 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 but. How did that not hit us? Okay. Perhaps uh, she get out. Uh, those fish are disturbing. Like, behold our fish. Yeah, they, they look a bit like the guardians from uh, <laughs> Minecraft. And Okay, that's yeah. Oh, hello. Well, there's one of I them. I was just to say that. And uh, can I remind me of those as well? Just uglier. Yeah, and less square. Yeah. No, I think those in the Minecraft are supposed to be constructs. These are living. Yep. A golden baby squid. Okay. And then we just climb out. That's the first one done, and the next one is, let's see... Boathouse or Pilot Bay, between the save and the warp. Between the save and the warp? Between, between the save and the warp. Image. Okay. I don't feel wondering what has happened in my brain. I... For some reason, I started to think that he meant the D war from 40k. Ah, uh, that that would be a bit of uh, that would lead to a bit of a different experience for Shantae here. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to travel in the war without proper equipment and a loaded gun. Yeah, it'd be easy to guess which of the Chaos Gods would have an interest in Shantae, Slanesh. Slanesh or Seens? Okay, just plain ambush me. 
sense. You see, she's basically the one of sorcery, so he could be interested in Slanash is per Slanash is a pervert, and I've said. Yep. But not just of of the kinky kind, but also just for like he talks not just the uh, sexual desire, he talks of any desire really. Like Many of his stories have been okay. They've actually been artists, uh, singers, and such as well. Okay. So, just thinking as a demonic sex god is slightly wrong, but not. It, it, it's just a small part of him. Yeah. It's okay. basically just. This, uh, in desires in general. Alright. And yeah, I'm mostly just checking here because of the map. Well, never mind then. I just hope that uh, the squid isn't hidden behind that then. Wait a minute. Do they have eyelashes? Mm. I can't tell. It could just be a ridge. Anyways, let's not get <laughs> ambushed this time. And hey. move on. I think I realized. Oh, the mermaid's flirting with Chantaine? Sort of. Their, their kiss still counts as an attack. <laughs> okay. And. Hello, see you, guy! Does he appear in all the games? I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> and they only gonna name him Save Guy? I don't, I don't even know if he actually has a name or not. If he doesn't, I guess we could go home. Uh, we could go home by someone, at least. Let's quickly. Okay. There we go. Okay, the Pollard Bay is the other way around. That's towards Shantae's home. And, uh, yeah. Okay, it wasn't attack damage, it was attack speeds. <laughs> yeah, we, now, we can now attack so fast that it looks like her hair is leaving after images. I mean, it is leaving off the images. <laughs> oh, bloody heck. It, bloody heck. It, they almost eat you whole to them thing. Like, what, what are they supposed to be? Yeah, they, I think they're supposed to be bats of sorts. They have horns and crowns. Yeah, demon bats. <laughs> demon bats are... It is so familiar. Yep. These memories are getting really annoying, especially when they're hiding away like that. Yeah. You, you just know they're going to pop up the moment you try to jump over them. For a moment, a footy seagull was to attack you there. I, I don't mind seeing ghouls when they're on the beach. For they have a very different behavior when they're on the beach. Yeah, in land they're, go they're going to go for any food they can find because they have to scavenge. Yeah, and they just have a very different personality. Like, they, they are basically opportunists. Yep. Like, like, they know they can fish for food in the sea, but some of you feel like... ...easier to grab it from humans. Yep. <laughs> and I had already told you about this a video about a seagull stealing a whole pizza and flying away with it. Because seagulls are bastards. Yeah, but still... I... 
I could expect it to just fly down and snatch a piece, but... Uh, oh, pizza? It, it, it was like, it, it was not one of those... Well, it was an American pizza, but it wasn't one of those, you know, massive pizza you buy for a massive group of friends. But still, it, I'm still surprised it could carry it away. Must have been an Italian seagull. Getting rid of um, the inferior product. Um, let's say this. The pizza looked still almost bigger than the seagull in some ways. <laughs> I, I don't uh, think in, in this case of... Uh, how the heck could the seagull's gonna eat all of it? Okay, we are near a warp squid, so we might as well... Well, we, yeah, we can use that to head straight to Pollard Bay. And get the last of the ones... Uh, last of the... Yeah, the golden squid babies. I just remember something that ha has happened sometimes in the city that w some, just one morning or something I hear a massive ruckus hey. for most of the day they, they look out and see there's an army of seagulls swarming a, a street somewhere for some reason. Uh, they used to be quite a big problem around here but we've I've seen them less and less over the years. To yeah. the point where I don't think they are here anymore at all. Yeah. Or not at all. Oh, wait. I, I yeah. think I know why. More and more yeah. people get uh, fake birds to scare them off. Like hawks, eagle, owls. Birds they actually fear. We even have an owl on our balcony. Okay. And uh, let's not disturb their vacationing, especially since they almost killed us. And well, we don't have a save going at the mo. Yep, we don't have a nearby save. Okay, now the third and last one should be somewhere around here. Really? You could avoid it easily, but you had to. What are we to do with you? Uh, not much, hopefully. Okay, there's an entrance I down can. the middle here. Does that lead somewhere? Oh, yes, it, there we go. That's all three of them. So now go. let's go meet the Squid Baron at the boathouse and go fight or, or take on Risky's lair. Um, yeah. There, one thing I have heard about this game that people complain about is that it's too damn short. But honestly, I, I don't mind it too much. It is. It was supposed to be a portable um, a game mostly, so and most portable games do tend to be shorter. Yeah, except if you have one of those a bit uh, more grindy ones. Yeah, like Pokemon and such. Yeah, Dragon Quest actually has a, a or had a Pokemon-like spin-off. Two games of them actually. Uh, the Dragon Quest Joker series. Joker. Yeah. Yeah, I have the original somewhere. Um. Oh wait, do we have to? We have to go back to Chante's <laughs> home first. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one. At all. Even I, I haven't tr look, tried to look up for Dragon Quest games uh, to look for, out for, but you could even not come on. And okay. I do have some Dragon Quest games. Uh, I can show you some of it later then. It was interesting. Uh, I did play through the first one entirely for its story. And one of the things with the game is that you can. Uh, this can basically fuse monsters together to form you know, to trans yeah, to make a new one. And not that it's a a combination of the two. It's just a sort of like uh, with 
persona and such that you fuse two together to make a different one. Ah, all right. If I recall correctly, it has been quite a while since I played those games, or that game. And I think it's actually the only Dragon Quest game that I've ever played as well. I've played a few, but I never finished any of them. Yeah, they are quite lengthy. Wrong home. Yeah, and I got sort of got stuck. Like, I thought it was like I was plowing through and grinding something. I was able to plow through a game. Then I'm nearing at the end. Suddenly, I don't know what happened, but uh, the plowing through was no longer. Yeah, you couldn't brute force it any anymore. Yeah. It was rather sudden, like, it wasn't gradual, like... I think it was a massive spike that even. Okay. You've done it. You've found all three of my babies. And pit the burst. Well, then you go, deal's a deal. Come on, kiddos, whoever has the artifact, give it to the nice uh, lady. Oh. Okay, so that's how we get the mermaid bubble. While swimming as a mermaid, attack the fire bubbles. <laughs> that idol looks so cute. With that thing, you can fire bubbles in mermaid form. In addition to blasting enemies, you can also destroy the undersea blockades. Whiskey's lair is east of here, just outside town in the deepest part of the sea. I think we actually went there. Well, what are you waiting for? Take her butt. Take her down hard. And once you do, snap some close-ups. Polo. It's time for a showdown. <laughs> Hold on, Uncle. I'm on my way. I see some videos making him sound like a poet, but I never paid too much attention. I thought, uh, just fan joke. But after that, yeah, now I'm unsure. Uh, yeah, Bolo is a bit of a risky boot sim, from what I remember. I'm not what? even sure if simp is the accurate word. <laughs> Actually, it does kind of in a weird way look like the, her henchman. <laughs> yeah, he, is, he isn't a henchman of hers. He's, he just has a crush or something. Yeah, I mean, like, he kind of resembles them in a weird way. With the bandana and the way he, his eyes look. All right. It's, okay. it's a subtle similarity, not a big... Well, really? Really? You... You do that on purpose, aren't you? Not really, I... <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Uh, not sorry, shrimp. About, uh, from new in here. Do not say the S word or this side overlord... Or this side overlord will be mad at you. Not shrimp uh. word. Do not okay. say. And that's where one of the shrimp. Not that's where one of the squid babies were. So we need to go deeper. Wait. Okay. Is that a band with a Twitch? Okay. Sounds like it. Okay, weird, but all right. Hey, again, is that word? I don't use that word at all. I know we're. Use it, I don't use that word at all, Sensei. I prefer to use words I feel somewhat comfortable to use with, that I feel like I know what it means. And if it's a word I'm not fully familiar with, I will preferably not use it at all. At least not until I know proper context with this word. Not true, sometimes it is better. Okay, just shrank away. Okay. Wait, have we been here before or something? No, we have not. For a moment I thought we broke into <laughs> some weird place. Oh, and we get another, oh, another warp spread here. Okay. There is... One that we missed somewhere, it seems. But oh well. And the save guy. 
Just making sure that you are safe for the last area. Hmm. Yeah, that... Actually, there's a bit of a... There it actually is a bit of a flaw in Risky's plan here. It, it assuming that... She assumes that Shantae knows where the hell Mimic got uh, the relic from. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> no have a shoot em up section. Where, well, we drown a bunch of Tinker Bats, because that's what they're called. They are. And we can just keep mashing this thing. Uh, I, I have to say, I quite like the I quite like the designs of the Tinker Bats. Though they might get confused for oh hello sneaky one. They might get confused for yeah blackface <laughs> or something like that. I thought I, I just thought there was a small shadowy demons. Yeah. Or something like a. Like a ghostly pile, you know, like a shade and something like that. That little sneak again got me. Okay. I'm, I'm just ready to keep spamming this so that everything that gets on screen dies instantly. Really good idea. If that caught I guess that means they were a form of bat? Yeah. Or maybe not as. Hmm. We'll have to see in the next game. There was something with the Tinker Bats there. Yeah, no. That would make me wonder if, if they are Tinker Bats, would that make Risky Boots a vampire? <laughs> well, she certainly has the uh, skin color to be confused for one. Yeah, is it. It's, it's a blood. And now, now I suddenly get Vampire Coast wives from her. Oh, there you are. I thought you weren't coming back. I, I can't tell if they're grabbing their mouths or their throats. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see. Oh no, that came from nowhere. Okay, this, this is starting to take a bit longer than... Uh, Need it. Yeah, there's a bunch of ruins here that seem to be Greek. So, did did Mimic <laughs> did Mimic find freaking Atlantis? There we go. This has there's to be near the ends, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see the pillars. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that, those might be Greek-like. No, oh, hello. No, oh, oh, come on. <laughs> the track. The... The level is longer than the music for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to hang low because these little jackasses at the bottom are being the biggest issue with damage. Oh, wait. Wait. Okay, so if I miss this... I thought only the bottom ones would be coming back if we missed them, but this, the normal swimming ones do that as well. Okay. Refill. Oh, here's the last squid. Alright. Then there's probably another save guy here. Yep. And here we go then. Oop. Hello. Uh. 
Oh no. Let's see. There's water there. Okay. Wait, there's fire here and yet it's... Not lighting up. Yeah. That's a bit... Yeah, I, mean, I usually hate these kind of rooms. Yep. Yeah. Like, sure, it's a challenge, but at the same time... There's a challenge, and then there's just a pain. Okay, this is a spare light area. Let's hope it doesn't just have us fall back into the previous area. It doesn't seem like it. I forgot they do that. Okay, one, two, three. Where can I stand here? Do it. You need to use monkey form? Probably, yeah. Yep, jump right into that one. Okay. Yep. Oh. Hello. Okay, then. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. Make yourself comfortable, Grandpa. Your genie friend should be arriving any moment now. You three. What are you standing around for? You've been paid. Now shove off. Hey. The deal wasn't for cash. What a bread of rains. And a lifetime supply of coffee. Sorry, change of plans. It ain't worth fighting over. Let's go. I got a feeling things are gonna get messy. Oh, she cried. Risky, this is a new low. Playing my friends against each other. It's sick. Ah, yeah, you were right. But it could have gone differently, you know. Maybe you should have just handed over those seals in the beginning and saved your friends from such grief. The outcome would have been the same. Yeah, the outcome would have been the same. Now give me those three magic seals and I promise that your uncle can go free. I can't say the same for you. Don't do it, Shante. So use them to unleash the lamp's hidden power. Take them and run. I can't. Risky wins this time. You guys were dragged into this because I was too weak to do my job. It's my responsibility as a guardian genie to face this on my own. Give Risky the magic seals. Well, we go from one stream with a choice to another with a <laughs> choice. But I'm not sure it matters what we do anyway, so here they go. It could just be a but thou, but you must case. Oh well. The magic seals are mine. Your uncle is free to go. Uncle, go now. But I'll deal with Risky. Get going. Oh. In a few moments, the lamp will be restored to full strength. Its dark power will be mine. It's not over yet. It's still time to stop you. You're certainly welcome to try. Oh, oh, oh. And it's a rematch with this silly stupid thing. Men? Throw the steam powered oceanic tinker top into overdrive. Let's see what this baby can really do. That's a big sword. Nope. Well, but <laughs> it's not about not finding a big left. fucking anchor. But... 
Oh, uh, she's gonna do all sorts of poses on top of it yep. by laughing. Okay, we missed the opportunity to attack there, but it will. Okay, dodge the cannons. Or cannonballs. Oop. Does that as well. Okay. And come stomping forward again. And, oop. That's the anger when it kneels down or crouches down a bit first. What do you mean with lurk, Nguyen? Uh, there, there's mean typically... Lurk? There, there's often a, a command... Oop. Too late. Uh, there's often a command that some people with a, a nope, with a chatbot have where they can uh, basically announce that they're they're going to be sticking around, but they won't be talking or any much. Yep. Ah, okay. I, I should see if I actually have that or not. It usually it's uh, exclamation mark slash you know, exclamation point uh, lurk. Okay, there we go. This might actually be a bit tough, and oh, hello, uh, this again. This is actually a lot easier because it doesn't fire as many. Oh, oh anchor. <laughs> I don't think this is what they mean with anchors away. <laughs> Go. It's going to just swim around for a bit again. And Risky's just being, well, Risky again. With and without the capital R. Okay, Anchor. Still got hit there, but we have plenty of these still. Oh, okay, no barrel this time. And that's the anchor again. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Just short. Okay, I think it should just be one more hit. R rule of three and all that. Oop. You just need to get an opportunity and have enough time to act on it. Come on. Open wide. There you go. <laughs> nice that you do it on command now. And oh, okay. One more hit, hopefully. This isn't too hard, it just nope, takes a bit for it to leave itself open again. Okay, come on. Do we have fireballs? Yeah, but we can only hit it. Actually, we could probably set those off with the fireball, but too late now. <laughs> and Risky is still posing even as that thing blows up around her. You're finished, Risky. Tsk, tsk. Gonna keep your eye on the prize. Because there's something missing. You see? The magic lamp is back in action and ready to rock. If you still want to know the secret of the lamp, I'll show you. Open wide and say ah. Uh-oh. What? What have you done? Do you understand now? This lamp has the power to suck up and enslave genies. Once captured, the genie must grant every wish her master desires, no matter how evil. 
This is what your uncle has been hiding from you. With this, I can turn a, a genie into a weapon of total destruction. No one will dare to defy me. How could it work on me? I'm only half genie. I'll admit at first glance it seems pretty useless. After all, there aren't any real genies left to enslave. But since you're a home genie, I figured one had used a lamp to strip you of your powers. And that has been her plan the whole time. She's right. My magical half is gone. What's left is... I'm human. Now, let's see how you fare without your special powers. Hear me, genie of the lamp. I command you to appear. Do not hesitate. Destroy this brat. Don't stop until she's a stain on the floor. Yeah, Whiskey ain't playing. I can't transform. Whiskey will, Whiskey will use my magic for evil, and all I have to fight with are these items I found along the way. Please be enough. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we only have... We... We can't transform, but our evil half can and can use all the abilities that we gathered along the way. Oh. Oh. Yep, contact damage still. So yeah, we are entirely reliant on our health potions and our, <laughs> our normal attack. Nope. Nope, that's the mermaid dance. Nope. Nope, no you don't. Okay, monkey dance. I no, did that, not that, know that the uh, version of Shantae. <laughs> yeah, this is what is generally called Nega Shantae. Basically, Shantae's without her ma without her human half to constrain her. I keep, <laughs> I keep getting contact damage from the. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. I do gotta say, with she, she does look pretty cool with her color scheme reversed like that. Yeah, she does. No, not falling for that one, even if the, uh, the elephant does fall on me. Oh, no, you don't. Nope. She always seemed like hot risky boot with the skin tone. Yeah. I think I'm taking more damage from just running into her than actually getting hit by the attacks. <laughs> Kinda. Elephants. Yep. Oh. Mermaids. I'm not sure if this re there really is a safe spot for that attack. Maybe the opposite corner? Elephant. No monkey. No. That is the elephant in the room. <laughs> Dear lady. At least by as of it is is when you can't see the boss help. That, that can make things... Oh. Is that it? No. Yep, yep. I think we just got into the second phase. <laughs> How many phases do you have? And yeah, there is nowhere safe from that attack. <laughs> from the looks of it, it she just hits every freaking where. 
Ab. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't see any safe spots. of these potions uh, okay we still have three left actually we also have these left okay we, we <laughs> lost our transformation power not our all of our magic okay. so maybe we should have gotten one of those to have upgraded to the maximum <laughs> Yeah, maybe should have. Yep. She's she, she actually immune during the flight, it seems, because I'm pretty sure that should have been hit by the ball there at least once. So we can turn that off while she is zipping around. He's uh, hitting the ball on occasion. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm not sure if she has to take damage or not. Just hear some weird sound when she does. Quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this attack probably would have killed us there. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I, I really can't see how we would be able to dodge that mate. It... Just monkey. Uh, we are our last potion. <laughs> Just before we would get gotten killed. Okay. Better. There we go. Holy. <laughs> Say what you will, this game isn't that easy as it looks. It's over risky. You fool. You would destroy your superior hop in exchange for this town of simpletons? And this town full of simpletons? And enjoy your victory. It's only temporary. The lost lap will be, will be mine. Ho ho ho. Chante, you won. Uncle, my magic. Gone. You're human now. There, there. Everything's going to be okay. Uncle, what about my hair? I don't know why it chooses to obey. Perhaps it's not genie magic as I once suspected. Perhaps that part of you doesn't come from your mother. Your mother. I've let her and everyone else down all because of my foolishness. It's not your fault, Uncle. The danger was always out there. I was the only one who I was the one who rushed into unprepared. Anyway, let's get out of here. The others will want to know you're safe. That brings up a question about her father, then. Yeah, because she, well, was a half genie, so a genie mother. But what about her father then? Yeah. Good question. So, so all along, Risky had us thinking that the lamp was the weapon? 
when her real scheme was to get her grubby mitts on your magic. It took nerves of steel to do what you did. Destroying your magical half was pretty gutsy. Bah, who needs magic? First thing tomorrow, we'll start training again. And this time, I'll teach you some human moves. Thanks, everyone. But still, I feel farther from, uh, farther from my mother, from my true home, more than ever. Uh, than ever before. Good. Deep down, I want to keep trying, but I'm useless without my magic. Oh, and here comes he again. Nonsense. Miss Genie, I'm ashamed of myself for behaving so badly. It's clear that you love this town and will defend it to the end. That's why I'd like you... Uh, I'd like you to return as Scuttle Town's guardian. You will take the job? You take me back even without my genie magic? Absolutely! I'm going to have a talk with the Ammo Baron and get our town back to normal lickety split. You will? Yes, <laughs> yes, I'll do it. I'll protect this town with everything I've got. But I won't do it alone anymore. We all love this place and we'll defend it together, as a team. In the meantime, Squid Baron is probably thinking, don't count me in and with, uh, in me with, with you crazy lot. <laughs> and I promise that from now on, I won't be too proud to take help from others. Especially you guys. Evil never rests. Risky Boots and her Tinker Bats are still out there. Um, unless the, they were named in the original game, that might have been the only time they... <laughs> the first time they got uh, officially named. And Roddy Top and her brothers too. Things will be different from now on. Yeah, but as long as we stick together, Eva doesn't stand a chance. And as <laughs> the Squid Baron's you know, <laughs> kids run amok, uh, that's the end of Shantae Risky's Revenge. Oh dear. Okay, that explains some things while Durko while trying to watch one of the other games. But the young cast was speaking over it and skipping the story parts. That there was some mention of her losing magic. Yep. Now and I know how that happened. And as the game fades to black and probably to the credits. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> the tyrannical overlord Voldy Way, Consulier, John Beck. <laughs> oh yeah, now that we're done with this game, it does that the next time we hit our... <clears throat> yeah, brain farted there. That means that uh, we'll be moving on to the third Shantae game, and many consider it probably the best of the uh, series, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Alright. And yeah, this was the director's cut, aka the PC port that was released, uh, yeah, still, still quite a bit later from the original. <laughs> Along, I actually think the, I think Risky's Revenge and Pirate's Curse were ported to Steam at the same time, or around the same time. And yeah, I'd, I'd say this is a pretty fun game. It can be, it is short, and going all over the place looking for the squids might be a bit annoying. But it does, it does work well as a prelude to Pirate's Curse. Oh yeah, definitely. And that took us four hours forty-three, and we got well, we missed fourteen special items. And like I said earlier, like Metroidvanias, we get <laughs> a different picture depending on how well we did. And I think still this is the standard nice. one. Yeah, very nice one still. And people who are paying attention will notice that the sidebars I've been using are from this picture. Actually, I think that I think the area is the same. It's just uh, the outfit that Shantae has is different. Okay. Magic mode has been unlocked, which I believe is the hard mode of the game. 
Oh. Actually, let's take a check. Let's check that out. File C. Magic mode. This enchanted costume lessens magic consumption but cuts defense in half for players looking for extra challenge. It is a nice little outfit, though. Whoa. But for now, let's quit the desktop. And uh, yeah, that was a bit. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit short, only about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, but still, a very nice game. And like I said, next time we will be moving on to Pirate's Curse then, which will take a quite a bit longer. It's a lot bigger game. Because, again, this game was originally released as DSiWare, which I believe, like the WiiWare games, had a limited size. Right. And also... This is the only game in a row that we finished early. Yeah. And let or me turn off those sidebars. Or I'll finish uh, quicker. Okay. Now, let me mute Twitch and let's go look for someone to raid. Why does this keep opening up maximized when I leave it out uh, smaller? It uh, looks like some looks like most you know, looks like the people we usually go to aren't online because well we are streaming quite a lot earlier. And uh, uh, w welcome back noon right as we finish the game. <laughs> You're pooping. Oh. Now then, uh, let's see. Recommended channels. We have Iggy Made again. Uh, we raided them uh, previously whilst they were playing a sticks game. Uh, they are playing Cult of the Lamb at the moment. Then there is Touch Scaly Tail, who is streaming Minecraft. It doesn't say if it's modded. Uh, actually, let me take a quick peek there. Yeah, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, that that is that looks modded. Not in the, uh, something I recognize at a glance. Uh, then we have Kalefin, who is streaming Songs of Six. Not a game I've heard of before. Don't have I. And let's see. Oh, someone is streaming. Someone is streaming Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. They are called Aegis. Yeah, like ages, but uh, G I E L E S. Okay. And Shark Sashimi is streaming Platoon, no, Platoon, Splatoon 3. So, which of those sounds interesting to you? Hold of the Lamb. <laughs> okay, so we are raiding Iggy again. <laughs> Going to steal their cheese because that seems to be their stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just copy the name. You know it was uh, Raid Noon. <laughs> uh, it'd be a bit difficult to rush over to Germany right now, especially for you. Give me a long boat and I will find my way there. <laughs> All right, Raid started, uh, which means that it's time to thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Noon, for showing up and chatting along a bit. And, well, for the warning, hopefully this doesn't get the stream banned or anything. <laughs> uh, once I start you know, streaming, feel free to do so. <laughs> uh, in turn, f feel free to raid us whenever you'd like then. And, yeah, of course, as always, thank you as well, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And... Uh, yeah, we should be able to do a showcase Sunday tomorrow, number 65 this time. And uh, yeah, from there on, I'll have to see when I can stream again. But for now, thank you all for watching again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for monsters. Come on, stream deck. <laughs>